I'm going to talk about some of the benefits of primer. First, I'm going to start by applying it to the middle of the face. Right now, I'm using the Makeup Forever HD. This is actually a blue tinted primer. Basically, the tint of blue is going to brighten her skin tone. Primers come in a lot of different shades. Uh, the blue, like I said, brightens. I also have a green one here, which corrects redness. I also have this one, which is a deeper, more rich tone, and that actually is going to darken any type of foundation that you have, or just give yourself a little more color. Say you're feeling a little dull or sallow, you want a little more color, you want to look a little more tan, but not putting a darker foundation color on your face, you could add a little bit of a darker primer and there you go. Um, so, yep, I'm just using my fingers, applying it all throughout the face. This one specifically is a water-based primer. There are two main different types, water-based and silicone-based. I like silicone because it really smooths out pores. Um, the main function of a primer is to minimize fine lines and pores and increase the longevity of your makeup. It really makes a huge difference if you do apply that. The other kind of primer would be a water-based primer, which I suggest more for oilier skin types, acne-prone skin types, just because the silicone can sometimes kind of seep into those pores and you, you don't really want that if you're breaking out or you're a little bit oilier. So we've applied the primer to half of the face now. I'm gonna continue applying to the other side. Like I said, there are different color correcting types of primers, but there are also plenty of other primers that you can use. I also love primers with radiance. If you like that kind of dewy, sun-kissed, J-Lo glow type of look, um, you can use a primer with radiance. I love the Laura Mercier one. There are also primers that have like skincare properties. Uh, I know I have one that corrects dark spots uh, over time, which is really nice if you have any issues with pigmentation. So as you see, this primer has just brightened her skin up so that when we put the foundation on top, it's going to look a little brighter and her skin's going to look a little smoother. Um, the next type of primer I want to talk about is actually eyeshadow primer. The one that I'm using right now is Urban Decay. Eyeshadow primer is amazing. It really, really increases the longevity of your eye makeup. It increases the pigment so that it looks a little darker. You won't have to use as much shadow because it really picks up that pigment. So I'm just kind of, once again, using a finger, applying it all over the lid. You really want to make sure, since eyeshadow primers are a little bit thicker than the ones for the face, that you're getting it very evenly across the entire lid. This is great for people who have oilier lids and find that they get creasing right here of their shadow. And you use such a tiny amount for both eyes. And there are other eyeshadow primers too as well. I know I have one by Tarte, which you can use um, 360 around the eye on the top lid and also around the bottom. Say you have concealer that creases as well. You can use it both places. And that one, the Tarte one also has uh, kind of pearlescence. So it brightens the eyes too, which is nice for dark circles under eyes. But these would be my top tips for primers.